We need to get on our way, because it's a three-hour run back to the mainland. And we need a cook-up. Well, here we are, in the middle of the Kimberley, and behind me is this awesome little island. Now, this is where we pulled up for the evening, and we're going to camp on that beach tonight. But earlier on today, we caught some reef fish. So I'm thinking a tricky way to put together a bit of a dish using reef fish. So I'm thinking let's go for reef fish stir fry. Now it sounds complicated, but it's not. And that's what cooking in the boat's all about, being uncomplicated, because there's not a lot of room to work with. It's a very cramped space, but we'll see what we can do. So that's the reef fish, all nicely filleted by Simon today. So I'm going to grab a pile of that out and I'm going to chop it all up. Now what I want to do is I want to lightly fry the, the fish in some oil, but I want to put like a fish mix on it. So that's just basically some flour, some herbs. All right, fish pieces into the hot pan. In the meantime, I'm going to get some noodles going. So I've got some two minute noodles here. So basically, just the ones out of the packet. Now I'm going to stick one of the sachets in. Whoop. So we're just going to shove that in there with that. And I think if you're, if you, I don't know, if you're smart, you get a seafood flavour maybe. <laughs> I've just got a, I don't know, some yellow flavouring. It's usually uh, pretty tasty anyway. So a bit of water in that. Like I said, it's a bit cramped around here, so you try and use whatever you can. Whatever you can as a table. Now, fish is going along nicely. So behind me, what I've got is, I've got chopped spring onions. I've got some broccoli, and I've got some capsicum. I've got some red and green to give it a bit of flavor, and also to give it a bit of color. It's all about the color. And I've chopped up some normal onions, just some brown onions, okay? So we're going to fry that up first. But first of all, we wait for the fish to get done. And then we're going to be ready to start on the onion. All right, now that your fish has gone all nice and brown and crispy, what we'll do is we'll get her on a plate, get on a bit of paper towel, and get it out of the frying pan. Now I'm going to use that hot oil to cook my onion, and I'm going to start the whole stir fry component of our reef fish stir fry. All right, so we get the onion in, so in she goes. Now we want some garlic. So I've just got the old tube garlic here. All right, that's our onion browning. Capsicum in, broccoli, spring onion goes in. And I've got some bamboo shoots, slice. All right, there we go. So while that's sitting there, I'm going to make up the sauce. How do you make the sauce? Well, we better get, get a bit of this uh, hossin sauce. All right, so we get a bit of that. Take the lid off. There we go. Bit of the old hossin sauce. I've got some soy here, some soya sauce. Everyone's favorite, the old soya sauce. Here we go. The soy. So we whack some sweet chili in. In she goes. Now you want to get that through. Fish. Basically, you just want to sit that in there like that. Nice and gentle. Remember to be gentle with your fish. And then we want to fold that in. So we get ourselves some noodles. Some reef fish stir fry. Chuck her on top there. And there we have it. And that's what you call reef fish stir fry. Better noodles. And it's pretty good tucker for in the boat. The sun's just dropped down over the horizon. And I reckon it's time to hook into a bit of tucker, kick back and relax.